एच सी वर्मा चैप्टर ट्वेल्व क्वेश्चन नंबर थर्टी ऑल द सर्फेस सोन इन द फिगर आर फ्रिक्शन लेस द मास ऑफ द कार इज कैपिटल एम दैट ऑफ द ब्लॉक इज स्मॉल एम एंड द स्प्रिंग हैज स्प्रिंग कॉन्स्टेंट के इनिशियली द कार एंड द ब्लॉक आर एट रेस्ट एंड स्प्रिंग इज स्ट्रेस थ्रू अ लेंथ एक्स नॉट वेन द सिस्टम इज रिलीज ए फाइंड द एम्पलीट्यूड्स ऑफ द सिंपल हार्मोनिक मोशन ऑफ द ब्लॉक एंड ऑफ द कार एच सीन फ्रॉम द रोड बी फाइंड द टाइम पीरियड्स ऑफ द टू सिंपल हार्मोनिक मोशंस सिंस देर इज नो एक्सटर्नल फोर्स एक्टिंग ऑन द सिस्टम द सेंटर ऑफ द मास ऑफ द सिस्टम डज नॉट मूव एज द टू मासज ऑसिलेट एज इज क्लियर फ्रॉम द एनिमेशन बोथ द मासज विल ऑसिलेट इन अपोजिट डायरेक्शन सो एज टू कीप द सेंटर ऑफ मास ऑफ द सिस्टम एट रेस्ट ऑल्सो द टाइम पीरियड ऑफ ऑसिलेशन ऑफ बोथ द मासज विल बी इक्वल Let us assume that the amplitude of the oscillation of the car is x1 and that of the block is x2. Since the spring was initially stressed by x0, x1 plus x2 must be equal to x0. Also, as the center of mass of the system is at rest, capital M into x1 must be equal to small m into x2. If you want to know how we arrived at this result, check the solution of question number 49, chapter 9. The link for the video is given in the description below. Solving these two equations we get x1 is equal to small m into x0 divided by small m plus capital M and x2 is equal to capital M into x0 divided by small m plus capital M This is answer to the first part of the question For the calculation of the time period of the oscillation we can find the time period of any one of the bodies as the time period is same for both the bodies Let us find out the time period of the car If we assume the elongation in the spring at any instant be x0 then the restoring force acting on the car is k into x0 which implies capital m into omega square into x1 is equal to k into x0 where omega is the angular frequency of the oscillation and x1 is the displacement at that instant in the car using the similar logic as the last part of the question we can conclude that the displacement in the car from its equilibrium position is small m into x0 divided by small m plus capital m which implies x0 is equal to small m plus capital m into x1 by small m putting the value of x1 in the expression we get capital m omega square x1 is equal to k into small m plus capital m into x1 by small m which implies omega is equal to square root of k into small m plus capital m by small m into capital m now time period of a system in shm is given by 2 pi divided by omega that is 2 pi root under small m into capital m divided by k into small m plus capital m this is the answer to second part of the question To request solution to any question from S C Verma book, just post the question number and chapter number in the comments below. Please like and share the video to help other students find us. Subscribe the channel for further updates. Thank you for watching.